Hey YouTube, super unexpected video. It is Thursday night, it is almost 11 o'clock, which is way past my bedtime because I get up about 5.15. And I am still up, I'm still going strong, or somewhat strong. Um, but anyways, it kind of got me thinking and I really wanted to sort of just try to do a quick video because I really want to share with you guys kind of all sides of the business, all sides of what I experience through my candle business and what you can experience too if you are going through, you know, creating a small business or maybe you're thinking about it. You know, I show the videos where I'm pouring candles or I'm showing you a tour of my store or the tour of my candle studio and all that stuff is fun you know my favorite tools and just different things going on but the reality of it is that there are some tough times and right now i'm in that tough time because i have stuff everywhere i work out of one room in my home and it's a big room and it is just overflowing i talk about this constantly i feel like um but it's just crazy. I'm tired. I'm so, so tired. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you guys right now um, what I'm dealing with because I want to be transparent and I want you to see not just the great side of the business, but also the side that is exhausting and overwhelming and sort of just all of the things. I'm still in my work shirt. Um, I don't feel like I've stopped working now for weeks. So I am getting ready for my fall launch, which happens this Saturday. Today's Thursday. It's Thursday night. And it and Saturday is when these candles and everything are available. And oh my goodness, I still have a lot to do, which is why I'm still awake when I should be in bed. So I started early on fall and I feel like I had a really good jump start on it and I plan to just sort of like smooth sail right on into it. And in some ways I have, but I had a lot going on. Um, my daughter getting her ready and moving her to college and just all the things, all of regular life. I work full time, I have a family, just everything. So even though I feel like I got a good jump start, I also feel like I poured a lot of candles because I don't want to constantly have to be re-pouring. I've signed up for a couple vendor events. So I'm trying to have, you know, things kind of set up to where I'm not working like this all the time, but it's a little stressful because right now I feel like there's absolutely zero end in sight. And my candle studio is it's crazy. Like, I feel like I should be on the show hoarders. I mean, that's the way that I feel. I have to constantly shuffle, move around, step over stuff, like move this to find that and move that to get to this. And like, it's just so, so much. We are in the process of solving this problem, but it is not solved right now. So it's very hard. It's very hard. And I think, like I said, it's important for me to be transparent on this video, on this channel, because this is really what it's like. I love to show you all the fun and glamorous and great things about the candle business, but the reality is it's not always like that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with right now. So yeah, let me flip things around. Let's check this out. All right, guys, so if you've been following my channel for any period of time, you've seen I've done a um, candle studio tour. I've done a couple of them as things have changed. So let's do one now. Let's do, let's do a tour of what it's like when you're in the middle of everything and there's zero organization. So let's just check things out real quick. Do you see all those boxes? Yeah, okay. Obviously fragrances that were very neatly organized now, not so much. I have tons of finished product along with all kinds of other stuff. Yep, that's it. Okay, let's look over here. Let's walk over here. Oh, I'm starting to get into the living room now, but check this out. 
all these boxes in my living room. Yeah, product. Exercise machine I can't use. Yep, that makes sense. Let's go over here. All this, oh yeah. Let's check this out, here's my table where I'm supposed to be able to just put things on there and work, but I seem to always have to, you know, spend forever and a day cleaning just to be able to go in there. Oh, there we go, box of, woo! All right, see, it's late guys. I'm struggling here, bear with me. All right, pouring station, yep, a mess. Oh, check this one out, this one's even better. Look at that. This is what I'm working with right now, guys. Do you see this? Look at that. Yeah. That's my life. That's my life right now. Way past my bedtime. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love this so much. I love this business so much. I want to do this full time. I want this to be um, something I can really grow and expand on and move out of this room and just really pour myself into it completely. And that's why I work as hard as I do. That's why I sacrifice and have these long hours. Um, that's why I have a video like this that is not pre-planned. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But this is just me showing you the reality of being a small business owner. There are so many days where it is just like amazing, amazing. And then there are times where I'm just like, what have I done? I feel like I have bitten off so much more than I can chew. Um, I get, I'm so exhausted right now. And we're in the middle of like this massive heat wave. It's been in the upper 90s all week which is draining in itself. So put that on top of just the normal stuff. And it's just, I, I like I've been working every weekend, every evening. Um, we've had to cancel camping trips because of a few other things. And so I haven't even really got to get away and like have that, you know, relaxation. When I'm home, I feel like I'm always, always need to be working. So anyways, I'm at a struggle point right now. That's really kind of the whole point of this video. But I still love it. I, I'm working through this mess because I am pouring so many candles, so many wax melts, gobs of freshies. I am getting all my, my sign stuff that I have around my, I have a brick and mortar. So I changed my sign. So like now I have my fall theme background. Um, so I've got to do all of that. I have to laminate some stuff, make some room sprays, you know, just doing the things. So I'll get it all done. And Saturday's going to be great. I'm really excited. My pumpkins, my little glass pumpkins are releasing on Saturday along with the three wick jars, um, room sprays, freshies, and wax melts, and my fall scents. So I'm very excited about that, and I think it's gonna be a wonderful day. I'm gonna be in the store for about four hours on Saturday, and then of course online stuff. And so maybe Sunday I'll just take a little break before I pick right back up, um, because now you know it's time to start thinking about Christmas, because that's gonna be like a whole nother thing to prepare for. But anyhow, um, so for those of you who are on the struggle bus with me, um, I'm glad I'm not alone and you should feel glad that you're not alone and we can make it through this. And I think this is just the part of business that um, honestly, I'm not mad about this because I feel like this is one of those moments when I reach certain levels, when I reach certain points of what um, I feel will be success for me, I will definitely look back on nights like this 
and I will think like, oh my gosh, I, I worked so hard. Like it was just grind, grind, grind. And you know, this is where I made it. So that's like my whole motivation. I love it. I love people who, you know, work hard and don't give up. So if you're tired and you're overwhelmed and you feel like your small business is more than you can handle, just hang in there. Think about your end goal. Focus on where you want to be, what your dreams are, what the big picture is, and just work towards that. And if you have to take a couple steps back, that's fine. But just don't stop. Don't stop moving forward, you know. Um, it's okay to have some setbacks or take some breaks or do whatever you need to do. But just don't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm grateful my family's not giving up on me for what I've done to this room. I cannot wait for the day that I moved out of this room and I get to show you guys what it looks like as a normal room in our home. So that's a big goal for me that I will reach. But anyhow, that's it for tonight. I need to get back to work. I need to try to get to bed. And I hope that I will get to see you guys again soon with a new video. And maybe I won't be so exhausted. Maybe I'll actually try to look decent and actually try to look like a candle maker in a room that isn't, well, I'm not going to say, you know. Anyhow, all right, guys, I'm out of here. I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.